Hey guys, back with another Hard Magnus video here, and this time I'm back on the Win Archer. Um, he's gotten a little bit more gear. He rerolled to Magnus Cap. Um, he does a little bit more damage. I'm only using 50s here, so this run is probably one of my best runs um, when playing a Win Archer. You'll notice that I do equip um, Song of sorry Erda's Nova, the the stun that you can craft. And, you know, it's not a big deal. It's not a game changer, but I like to use it just to maximize my DPS. I'm going to use it right here while the level 200 V-Skill Typhoon is right on Magnus. That's a lot of DPS right there. Um, so I think it's worth it at times, and it's also worth it for positioning. And right here, I'm going to die. Proc Heaven's Door, kind of a, a bad positioning on my part. Stuck in the corner again. He's going to dash. I'm going to die again right here. So... I said it was a smooth run, um, didn't look like it on that part, but that was honestly really my only blip. Um, you can see already a minute in, he's chunked down pretty good, about 30% into the fight. So definitely when it comes to DPS, he's, it's not an issue for this one archer. And I think for most win archers, it's uh, if you have level 60 or high level uh, Song of Heaven, you can chunk them down pretty good, pretty quickly, as long as you're managing... Um, like I said, this Typhoon, that level that V skill right there, making sure that that's on top of Magnus as much as possible. And you can pretty much have 100% uptime since it's, you know, Song of Heaven the way it, it, you can play it. All right, so about a minute and a half in, but down to 50% almost. And the reason why this was such a smooth run is because I only used, I think, six PEs total. I started with 131. I did die once, so if you want to use that against me, um, so be it, but... I like to save resources. I like to save PEs and, you know, sacrificing a death or two for me isn't that big of a deal. Um, and so two minutes in, back down to 40%. And the main thing for win archers is I'm, you notice I'm trying to just go back and forth, um, always on the move. I try not to stay stationary. You see right there, I was stationary. I got hit by the orb. But I'm always trying to, when he does an ability or and try to anticipate an ability coming. I'm not trying to react. I'm trying to kind of anticipate, be prepared for what's gonna happen next. And right there, I have to use a few PEs, not a big deal. But I think that's what the most important part is for Win Archers and just clearing Hard Magnus in general. It's not, once you know the rotation, it's not waiting for it to happen. Um, by then it's usually too late. So you see right there, I try to jump out, knowing I'm kind of, uh, knowing how much time I have. So it's okay to break your Song of Heaven if you have to, if you're in a bad position. You see right here, um, I know my how fast I can get there, how fast the orbs are going. And it's really just about positioning, just being patient, um, and trying to stay in the force field as much as possible. Right, like you see there, I went in, I used the PE, and then I went immediately out to avoid the orbs. So those are some tips and tricks, whether you're playing Win Archer, whether you're playing any class for Hard Magnus, it's always about positioning, kind of preparing and anticipating instead of reacting. Right, and the fight is pretty much over. This is always the scariest part at the end of the fight, but it's about three and a half minutes in. I think I'm going to stun him up right here. Yep. And uh, just in case right there, I prepared, anticipated that he was going to spin. I got out of the range, um, took a little bit of damage, but not a problem, and I was able to finish him off. So for the Win Archers out there, anyone doing Hard Magnus, I hope this helped you. Um, you'll see the time. Obviously, this Win Archer is very strong. Um, 15 mil cap, three and a half minutes with uh, just 50s is insane. But I hope this helped. Let me know if you have any questions. See you next time.